Hello friends, registration and login are two basic web pages we use in almost all web applications. In this video, I will show how you can easily develop these pages using PHP and MySQL. I will also code for show password in the registration form and remember me in the login form using PHP session and cookies. So we will have a top menu like this and there will be register and login link. If I click on register, registration form will appear here. You can enter name, email, password, confirm password and also there is a show password checkbox using which you can show or hide password. You can click on login and login into the system. So if I just log in here. You can see there is a checkbox remember me. So if I check this email will be remembered and in next login this email ID will automatically be displayed here. So if I log in here you can see it is showing the name of the user logged in and there is a logout option and there is no register or login option now because user is already logged in. So let us develop this application using PHP and MySQL. I will assume you have already got Jam server installed in your PC. If you have not already installed, you can go to Google and search for download Jam server and install Jam in your system. And after installing, make sure that Apache services and MySQL services are running in Jam control panel. In my system, Jam server is installed in F drive. And I go to htdocs folder. Here I will create a new folder. Let us give the name as login. So we will create our files and folders in this login folder. So we will open this in Visual Studio code. We will first create a menu. New file. Let us give the name as topmenu.php. Type HTML5 and we will use bootstrap5. So we will copy this bootstrap CDN, paste it here. And we'll have custom styles in CSS folder. So we'll create a folder CSS and new file style.css. So we'll write all our custom styles in this style.css file. So let us create a div. Let us give the name as top menu. And then we'll create a menu bar. So here we will create home register and login link. Let us create the logout link also. So if we run now, so we have to give localhost. So our folder name is login and then topmenu.php. So it is showing like this. So let us add some styles here. We have the class name as top menu and menu bar. Let us give a padding top and bottom and give a background color. So we have menu bar class menu bar and then give a padding. So if you refresh it now. So let us add the styles for the anchor tag also. White color and give a padding left right text decoration none. Refresh it. So you can see home register login logout. Let us increase the font size a little bit. Let us add style for the hover also. So 
so here let us add index.php for the home register register.php login use login.php and log out now let us create the index.php so all we have to do we have to include top menu first give a h1 let us just copy this and add this in the title so in index.php we are including the top menu so that it will appear on the top similarly just copy this and put it in register.php new file put it here and here you just give registration and create login.php just give login we are not writing any code as of now in the logout.php so if we refresh it now i don't have to give top menu so i just use localhost login so it is showing me the home page let us add some style here give some margin also so if we click on register click on login home we just created the design we have not added any php code or database yet we will now start developing the registration form and after that we will develop login form so we will create the database first so we will use test database here so we will create a new table called users id name email and password id integer name varchar email varchar password varchar 255 create the table let us make id as primary key and change it to auto increment so our database table is ready now we will design the registration form we'll go to register.php since we have included top menu.php if you go to top menu.php we just need to take this out from here and put it here index.php and similarly for other two files as well so we'll go back to register.php let us use the container div first now we'll create the registration form so let us add the form we'll use the post form let us take input input name remove this so we'll just copy this this is for the name and then we'll have email and then we'll have password so we need to change the type as password let us give this as pwd so we have created the fields name and then email and then password and we need to add the confirm password as well so we'll just copy it and paste it here and use it confirm password let us give the name as confirm password and after that we need to use a checkbox to show the password to show hide password so we'll add a checkbox input here
checkbox no label and then we will use a submit button let us give this name as register so if you refresh it now click on register so you can see the form is displayed we need to add some styles for this form we will add the styles for the form change the width to 50% and give a border give border radius and then add margin give a padding so let us put the register button on the middle so we'll add a div here okay so let us now add some background color we'll change the color let us add few things here we'll go to register.php for each input field for validation purpose we want to display the error message so we'll just add a div for each input so we'll use classical to text danger so we'll just copy this for all other fields and at the end just below register form we will add a text give a paragraph and type already registered just give login here if we refresh it so already registered login here so if you click here we have some problem here login.php refresh it click on here so it is coming to login page okay we will now write the php code for the registration form first we will write the php code for connection to database we will create a folder called cfg for configuration and within that we will create dbconnect.php so this will be our database connection script so let us write we'll create a mysqli instance here we'll use new mysqli let us give the name as dollar connect new mysqli and it needs four parameters server user id password and database name so these are the four parameters let us just define them server is our local host for user id we will use root user id just for our example only we are using root user and there is no password for the root user and we will use test database so db name equal to test now we will check the connection if connect error we'll just stop here because if there is no connection we don't want to proceed so we'll just stop here using die now we have created our database connection script in a separate file cfg dbconnect.php so in the register.php we first include it so we have included dbconnect.php now when the form is submitted this is our submit button so we need to give a name here so we give the name as submit 
now when the form is submitted we need to process the input submitted by the user so let us do that so we'll first check if the form is submitted if is set dollar underscore post submit button name is submit submit then we'll proceed so first we'll check so we have name email password and confirm password name email password and confirm password so we'll use a trim here just remove the space so we have taken the values from the forms we need to initialize these variables so let us do that now we'll validate we must validate the values entered by the user so first we'll check if the form is submitted without any values all the fields are mandatory here so we need to validate the inputs so first is the name if if the name is blank name error and we'll also use a flag error flag which will be true So we'll use this for all fields. Let us just copy this. Email and give this as email error. Similarly, for password and confirm password. So here we are just checking if the values are empty so name email password and confirm password and accordingly we are giving message for each field and now we already have a place in the form for each input to display this error message so we'll add that before that we will initialize these variables here and also the flag so initially the error flag will be false in case there is any validation error it will be true so in the form we have to display this error messages name error and here it is email error and this will be password error and this will be confirm password error so with this let us just check the validation refresh it okay so dollar server we have not defined here let us see so we have some problem scr v e r refresh without entering anything in the fields let me click on the register button so it is showing the message here name email password and confirm password so it is showing all the validation error messages and checkbox is not mandatory so let me just add it here we need to use show password for the checkbox show password refresh it show password so our validation is working so far so for the email we need to do some additional validation so we'll check if the format of the email is correct else if we'll use filter var function dollar email and use the filter as filter validate email so we need to just check not filter var if it is not correct format then it will come in the else if 
similarly we'll give error message let us give invalid email format error will be true and again we need to check since it is registration form and email id should be unique so we need to check if the email id is already registered or not so we'll just give else so here we'll check if the email is already registered so that means we have to check if the email already exists in the user's table so let us write the sql statement as select star from users where our field name email email equal to question mark so we'll use prepare statement now dollar connect is our connection handler if you see in the dbconnect.php dollar connect prepare and then give the sql we need to bind the parameter here we have one parameter and that is email so it is string s and then give dollar email and then execute it get the result and then check if dollar result number of rows greater than 0 if the number of rows is greater than 0 that means email id already registered so let us just give the error message email already registered so we can test the invalid format now this part we cannot test now we will test it later let us refresh it so we give a email id just test click on register so it is showing invalid email format so this validation is also working now we need to do another validation if the password and confirm password are same or not so we'll check it here if if they are not empty and so if they are not empty now we need to check if they are different so if dollar password not equal to confirm password if they are different then we need to give message just give passwords do not match so let us refresh it let us give password 11 confirm password 22 password do not match so this validation is also working when there is any validation error we need to retain the values entered by the user so we have to use the value here in the form so add value equal to dollar name similarly just copy this for email and password and confirm password we do not we do not need to display the value so we'll just refresh it enter name test test 111111 register so you can see the values are retained here but invalid email format so that's okay so our validation is so far working fine now once all the validations are successful we want to proceed for the registration so let us write the code for the registration now once all the validations are successful dollar error will still be false only so we just check if not dollar error that means there is no error then proceed for registration first we will encrypt the password we will use password hash 
use password default and then we have to write the SQL statement to insert the data in the database. So we'll use the insert statement. Table name is users. Values. Let's see the columns here. We have name, email, password. So name, email, password. And there will be three placeholders here. During insert, there could be some error. So let us use try catch here. We'll use prepare statement. We need to bind the parameter. There are three variables here and all these are string variables. SSS, name, email and password. Execute. So prepare, bind parameter and execute. And then we will give a success message here. We'll give a login link here. And for error, we'll give a error message. Okay, now we have two variables here, success message and error message. We will initialize them. And also we need to display them in the form. So in the form, just before the form tag, let us add this. If not emptied success message, then we'll add bootstrap alert here. Alert, alert success. So if success message is not empty, so we will display the success message here and similarly for error message also we have to do that. Change it to danger. Now let us test it. Click on register. Okay. Let us first test the error message. So we'll just give name one and refresh it. Unknown column name one. So this is working. Let us change this. Now let us register one. Password let us give one one. Click on register. So registration successful. Please log in here. So let us go to database. So one row is inserted in the database. If I click here, so it's coming to login page. So registration is successful now. Let us just add some CSS here just to print it in a better way. So here we'll add a div. Now if I just refresh it here, let's see what happens. It says email already registered which means our validation for existing email is also working. So now let us change. So let me just check the database. It's still one row only. And now let us change the email password one one register. Registration successful will log in here. So we will just 
so let us see the database so there are two users now register one more one one okay refresh it email already registered that is fine so our registration is working fine so if you click here check the database there are three rows now now let us just add some javascript for show password so we'll go to register.php we have show password checkbox here just add it here one click we'll call a javascript function one click equal to show password so we'll just use the password and confirm password these two fields id equal to confirm password and id equal to password so pwd equal to document dot get element id so we have two objects here we'll just check the type of this uh, field if the type is password we'll make it text and if the type is text we'll make it password so if dot type equal to text we need to use three equals here because we are checking the object type as well not just value make it password else just give password dot type equal to text so if the password if the type is password we are changing the type to text so that the password will be visible similarly do this for confirm password as well so let us see now password 11 show password it's working now so our show password is also working let us test once again if everything is working fine refresh it click on register so this validation is working fine we'll add a css here let us add a class here input error so we'll add it in all input fields so we'll just give a fixed height here for the error refresh click on register so now it is okay let us remove everything from the database delete everything now give two different password 111222 click on show password so these two passwords are different so let's click on register passwords do not match and we can see that values are still displayed here so let us give now correct password password and confirm password are same click on register so registration successful you can see let us see the database row is inserted registration successful now let us register with the same email id click on register email id already registered and there is no row in the database it's only one row so all the validations are working fine and our registration is also working so now we'll work on the login form let us copy everything from register.php to login.php i'll just remove this and this is login.php let us rename this logout.php 
So we will update the login form first and in login form we will have only email and password. So we will remove name, we will keep email and password, remove confirm password and we will have a checkbox here instead of show password we will use remember me. On click we don't need anything, we will just remove it and let us give the name as remember and here this is the submit button, let us change it to login and also change it register here. So remove this script. So if we just refresh it, let us click on login. So our login page is showing now email id and password and remember me. Not register, register here, click here, it's coming to registration form. Click here, login form. You need to change this to login. So we need to change it here, let us give it login and also for login we do not want to show any success message. In case of successful login, we will redirect user to the home page. We just need the error message. So we will remove this, refresh, so login page. Now we need to update the PHP code for login. In the login form we will have email id and password only. So we'll remove this, remove this, for login we don't need success message, for successful login we will redirect user to the home page. We need error message in case incorrect email id and password are entered. So we'll have email id, password and we need to validate the input name, remove name, keep email and we don't need to validate email id because we will just say if email id format is not correct, we will just say incorrect email id entered and we don't need to check whether the email id already registered or not. So we will just check email, remove this and password we need to check we don't need confirm password, we don't need password and confirm password, same. So we'll just have email id and password and if there is no error, then proceed with login. Let us remove everything here. So we have got email id and password. So we'll check with the database whether the email id and password are correct or not. So first we'll select whether the email is correct. So let us write the SQL statement email equal to question mark statement equal to prepare bind parameter now we have email id, so it is a string, we have already taken the email id from the form, this is our email id and then execute it, result, result equal to the statement, get result. Now we will check if number of rows return equal to 1. So if num rows equal to 1, which means we can find a row with the entered email id. So if we find that means email id is correct, but if no rows found then we have to give error message else. So dollar error message equal to let's give email id is not registered. Now we have to check whether the password is correct or not. So we'll use password verify if password verify. Now for password verify we have to use the 
password entered by the user which is $pwd and the stored password which is stored in the database for that email id so let us retrieve the password first dollar row equal to fetch associate let us give the name as stored password dollar row password in the password verify let us use this now if password verify returns true that means password is correct if not we will give message else give error message saying that incorrect password now if password is correct so that means successful login so in this case we will have a session variable dollar session let us give the name equal to dollar row name so we are storing the name name of the user in a session variable now since we are using session we need to start the session so let us start the session here session start now once that is done we will redirect user to the home page a successful login is done and we are redirecting user to the home page so when the user is logged in we do not want to show register and login so you have to remove that but we want to show only logout similarly when user is not logged in we have to show only register and login not logout so let us change the top menu now so here we have not used any php code so let us do that now now we'll display logout when user is logged in so what we'll do here we'll just check if is set remember we have used already dollar session variable login.php after successful login dollar session name is available so we'll use that here if is set dollar session name we want to display logout so just cut it here and paste it here else now if we set dollar session name we'll display logout if this session variable is not set we'll display home register and login which means if user is not logged in we want to display home register and login but if user is logged in we just want to display only logout now since we are using session here we need to start the session here also let us do that at the beginning but you can see that login.php also we have used session start and we are including top menu.php in top menu.php also we are using session start so we will have some problem since is already started so we'll give a if condition here if not is set dollar underscore session or session id equal to blank or session status or session status equal to php session none then start the session actually we should include this in the top menu.php as it is included later let us do this in top menu.php and in login.php just use session start before we test our login let us write the code for logout.php so we'll use session start and then session unset and then session destroy we are using session start so session unset will unset all session variables and session destroy will delete the session and then finally will redirect user to the home page let us now refresh it so if we refresh it you can see it is showing home 
register and login. It's not showing log out. So let us now log in. We have one user registered test at test.com and password was 111. Let us first test it validation. Just click on login. So it is showing enter email, enter password. Let us give some wrong password. Incorrect password. Let us give incorrect email ID. Email ID is not registered. So our validations are working. Now we will give the correct email ID and password. Now let us log in with test at test.com. So we have email ID test at test.com. Password was 111 login. So user logged in successfully because it's showing log out and it is not showing home register and login. So we can see login is successful. Now if you click on log out, now it is showing home register and login. So it is logged out successfully. After the user is logged in, we want to display the username in top menu.php. Let us add a span here. Welcome dollar session name. Let us log in now. So it is showing welcome. So we just need to add some style here. Let us put a div here. Classical user. Let us add style. Refresh it. So it is showing the name and the logout. Click on logout. Here we have to change one thing. We want to show home always, whether logged in or not. So we'll just take it out. Refresh it. Login. So home is displayed. And you can see username and logout options are displayed. Register, login, home. Okay. So this is working fine. Now we'll add remember me for the login form. So let's go to login.php. Here we have a checkbox. Remember me. This is our checkbox. We have the name as remember. So after the form is submitted, we will check if remember me is checked or not. So we will check if is set dollar remember equal to dollar post remember. And here after the successful login, successful login, if remember me is checked, we need to create cookies. So we'll check here if if remember me is checked, we'll set two cookies, set cookies for email and checkbox. We'll set two cookies here. In case remember me is checked, we need to remember the email as well as remember me checkbox so that in the next login, email ID will be displayed in the email field and remember me will be automatically checked. So we'll use set cookie here. We'll use set cookie function and we have to give the cookie name. Let us give remember email this is the cookie name and the value is dollar email which is entered by the user dollar email which is entered by the user and you need to give time how long the cookie will be valid so let us give 365 days so we'll use time plus 365 days multiplied by 24 hours multiplied by 3 minutes multiplied by 
60 seconds. So this time should be in seconds. Similarly, we will set cookie for remember checkbox also. So we'll just copy this. Let us give this as remember. And here it will be remember. So cookies are set. Now in case remember me is not checked, if it is unchecked, so we need to give else here. Copy the same thing. But give a time with pass date. Delete cookies. So instead of plus, give a minus. So we are giving some pass date, which means that cookie will not be valid. Cookie will be expired. So basically we are deleting these two cookies. So now in the form, we need to display the email ID and the checkbox to be checked automatically in case remember me is checked. So here we are displaying email, but we have to check whether cookie is set or not. If cookie is set, we have to get the value of the email from the cookie and display it here. Similarly for the checkbox. Let us add code here. Display email. We will create a variable to display the email. Display email equal to. If is set dollar underscore cookie remember email. We have used the cookie name as remember email. If cookie set, we will use the value from the cookie. Else, we will use dollar email, the email entered by the user. And we will display this in the email field. So here basically we are checking if cookie is set or not for the remember email. If it is set, we are using the value of the email from the cookie. If it is not set, we are using the email ID which is entered by the user. So here we will display display email. Similarly for the checkbox we have to use that. Now check dollar suppose checked whether checkbox will be checked or not equal to if we set dollar remember just copy this if we set dollar remember then we have to use check else if not empty dollar remember then also we will use checked else none we are checking if remember cookie is set we will check the checkbox or if remember is checked by the user during the login then also the remember checkbox will be checked otherwise it will not be checked so we will use this value for the checkbox So just give. So with that, let us now test it. Refresh it. Check the remember me. Login. Login successful. Log out. Click on login. You can see it is displaying the user ID and it is checked. Now again login. Uncheck this. Login. Login successful, log out. Click on login. It is not showing email ID anymore and remember me checkbox is not checked. So this is working. Let us register one more user and login. So in the database we have one user so far. Let us register a new user. Test user. Password 111. Register. So registration successful. Login here. We have test1 at test.com. Test1 at test.com password 111. Login. So login successful. It is showing test user. Log out. Login again. Now we will use remember me. 111. Remember me. Login. Login successful. Log out. Click on login. It is showing the email ID and remember me is checked. So registration and login are working fine. So we have completed our registration and login form. We could successfully register and logged in.
also we displayed the username after login and remember me option in the login form also working you can visit the website codehowto.com for detailed step by step development of the application you can download the code please see the video description for all the links hope it will be useful for you if you like it please give a like and subscribe to my channel thank you